guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another thrifting haul where we pick up a bunch of things to resell on the Poshmark app and eBay. Both of those are linked down below. Don't forget to check them out just to kind of like, share, and follow and I'll do the same for you. If you do have a Poshmark closet, go ahead and put your username down below and I would definitely head on over to your page, like, and share your listings for sure. So I wanted to show you guys what we got. We went to Second Avenue a few days ago and we were going to be specific and very picky so we were going to just like kind of browse through definitely the shoes maybe the jeans and some jackets and we ended up getting a bunch of stuff so I have to show you guys what we got I'll probably break it up into two parts depending on how long it gets so if this does say part one then go ahead and look out for part two I would love for you to do that and of course if you're new to my channel well then welcome let's go ahead and jump in with the shoes guys we'll get those out of the way and then maybe do some jeans and then the shirts we'll see how it flows let's start with the shoes so the first pair I wanted to show you first because I don't know the brand and I need help so the reason why I took a chance on them is because they were half of $4.99 they're very heavy they have the wing tip they're like so well made there is some wear here but that's okay I still think that they'll do good I almost want to say that this is aftermarket I'm not quite sure but let me see if this is the one no and these are the numbers there just in case you guys know and I looked them up and I cannot find anything so I know I'm not giving you much to go by inside of this one there's kind of a gold logo let me see if I can get it See that little gold logo there? Oh, it's really hard. So I know that nobody's really going to know off the bat, but if you know some high-end, you know, men's dress shoe designers, put it down below because maybe I can research them and find these. Yeah. I mean, the only thing that comes up with the numbers like Kohan, and these are not Kohans. And it almost looks like there's an A... S in the name on this side it's an A and an S so let me know if you know anything about these shoes guys I thought it was worth the risk everything that we got was 50% off so the colors were oh actually I'm lying the colors were yellow and violet were 50% off pink and blue were 33% off so we did get a few pink and blue items but not many all right, these are a pair of Sperry Top Siders. I just like to get Sperrys that look different. These I'm kind of shaping right now with plastic bags, but they are like this velvet, um, what would this be called? Like it's not velvet, suede uh, gray shoe. They don't have much wear, so I wanted to pick them up. I don't know what it is with me and wanting to get a bunch of different like styles of Sperrys. Who knows? Here's a pair of shoes that I didn't even look up. I just knew this community is huge. It's the Red Hat Ladies. So these are actually by Grasshoppers by Keds. But I know these Red Hat um, groups are still going on. My aunt used to be a Red Hat Lady. She was a pink hat. Was it pink hat? Yeah, pink hat. And then once you turned 50, you became a Red Hat. So I know these are going to do well. Found a pair of Merrill tennis shoes. They're very nice. They are women's. Yeah, not much wear on them either. Look at that. Perfect find. Got these for half of $8.99. So that was a pretty decent buy there. Now these are pretty cool. These are actually Allen Edmonds, guys. We, <laughs> I think that's what happened. I think a family donated a lot of really great items and we happened to stumble across them because this is just one, I think a four or five Allen Edmonds that we saw and or purchased. So I was pretty pumped. Rick, he's not on the dress shoe train like I am, but I told him, trust me let's buy them so they're just a nice pair of allen edmund loafers i haven't cleaned any of these up yet so they do need a little bit of love and again the bottom is not horrible but it's not the best either all right so those i did get another pair just like them yes and these are the same exact pair but in black and you can see they literally are the same exact thing so i know they came from the same owner and these were actually half of $5.99. So the people there did not know what they had there. 
All right, I think these are Sperry's. Yes, here's a pair of nice brown Sperry's. Look, a little bit of dust going on there. I just have to wipe them up, but love these. And then again, with the bottom, not much at all. A little bit of dirt there. Yeah, man, I'm super pumped. And now that I'm seeing everything again, now that I'm seeing everything again, I'm so excited. Here's another pair of Sperry's that were like, I mean, just about brand new. Look at them. So nice. Yes. And I figured these aren't too big, so these can be for, yeah, they're 7M. So I figured these might be for a child for school, you know, like a private school, something like that. I did get these Sinooks. These are also being formed with plastic bags right now. But they do need some work here. I have to scrub that up. But I thought that they were nice enough to purchase. I know that these will still sell in the winter. But if not, we will have them for the spring when that buyer comes along and it's looking for them. Okay, just a couple more pairs of shoes, guys. These are, well, they're two different shoes, first off. are Kohans. They're just a pair of wind-ticked black shoes. So they were pretty cool. Again, Rick was against these wholeheartedly, but I promised him I could clean them up. They were half a $4.99, so I just think that it's worth it. I mean, for half a $4.99, there went some of my shoes. That was the heavy shoe, like that first shoe I showed you. It's so heavy and dense. I know it's a good shoe. I just have to figure out what the heck it is. All right, and these are actually a pair of floor shims, which we always pass on. But these, I could tell, were very nice. So that, and again, they were cheap. I think these were half of $4.99 as well. And they're just a pair of black wing-tipped. All right, so that was it for the shoes. Let's go ahead and jump into the jeans. Like I said, we did try to be picky, but it just didn't work out for us. It was really rough this time because they had a lot of great things. Now, here's a pair of J. Jill Barely Boot Cut. They are new with tags. We really don't pick up J. Jill that often anymore, but because they were new with tags, we went ahead and grabbed them. Smooth fit J. Jill size 12P. Plus that size 12, I feel like that's a decent size. Um, I really don't like buying tiny jeans anymore or tiny anything really. But sometimes we have to. Here's a pair of a Lucky Brand new at the tags. And these are size 28 Little Maggie. I really like the pockets on these. So that's a nice pocket. I think that we'll do decent on those, especially being new at tags. We did find quite a few new at tags jeans. These are a pair of Joes and they are men's. So that made me happy. Second pair of men's Joes jeans that we found recently. Nice wash, good to go. I'm very happy about those. I'm very happy about all of them. You know, if you're a reseller or a couponer or somebody who likes deals or just shopping in general, I get such a rush when we get great hauls like this. Like walking out of the store, I felt like, oh my God, this is awesome. <laughs> like it just feels so cool. And I definitely think it's because Poshmark has picked up quite a bit um, that I'm even more driven and excited. We did get a pair of Victoria's Secret pink black sweatpants with the tropical and then they have all the rhinestones there. These are going to fly off the shelves. If not um, on Poshmark, definitely on eBay. Both of them do really well with Victoria's Secret pink and Victoria's Secret in general. We found a pair of Lululemon, which we hardly ever find, especially out in the wild. And it still had the tag on it. This is a size six. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. And they are like joggers. There was a couple imperfections like that, but I still think we'll get at least 25 for these, even with that imperfection. Now, I haven't decided yet, but one of my clients, a lot of my clients bring me in things to resell. Honestly, they're amazing. But I have one client that brings me in bags and bags where every item is awesome. I'm talking Joe's Jeans, Seven for All Mankind, Lululemon, a bunch of Lily Pulitzer. I mean, I'm going to have to do a haul on her stuff alone and show you guys what my awesome, awesome client brought me. I bought her some Olaplex shampoo and conditioner, which is really huge in the hairstylist world right now. I just cannot... 
thank her enough because she really gives us so much. All of these dresses and they're really amazing and I'm so lucky and she charges me nothing. So I text her today just to give her my gratitude again because I went through the bag and I mean Vineyard Vines, every single item was awesome. On top of that, some of the clothes fit Jordan from her daughter. So I just told her how awesome she was and she said, oh, well, I got another bag for you already. I'm thinking, how did I get so lucky? Okay, so these are a pair of David Bitten Buffalo jeans. And again, the only reason we bought them is because they are new at Tags. They do retail for $109, which was really nice. But because they were only half of $6.99, we figured why not go ahead and pick them up. Um, and just kind of see what we can do with them. These are Miss Me. Now, I think these are older Miss Me. You guys will have to tell me. Um, they do have a huge hole in the pocket. And then that's the other pocket there with the little M. We really, and they're super short. And I can tell that they are not um, capris just because of like the little, it's not a flare, but like a little mini boot cut flare thingy. All right, next we got another pair of Hudson. Have a question about these two. We have two of these back to back I'm gonna show you. Now these have these little things on them. Aren't these supposed to be cut off where it has the size, the cut and everything? I don't know. Because now that it's there, I'm thinking these are new. But, so yeah, these are the ones, let me show you. But these ones have like inner thigh wear. So maybe they came from the same person, see that? And they just didn't cut that tag off. Let me know what you think, if you think that that is something that's normal or what. I love when you guys give me feedback because you see here, these also have it. So is that supposed to be cut off? I don't see anybody like wearing that on the back of their jeans, but they are really nice Hudson jeans. Hudson does really well. Don't find that as often as we would love to. Almost done with the jeans here. Oh, this was awesome. These were a size 18 Lucky brand. Oh, so happy. These are freaking awesome. Look at those. I feel like that's a rare size. We never find them. A lot of times we find like size 8 and under. And I do believe these are long as well. Yeah, they come up just in the middle of my waist. So they're going to be like, yeah, so cool. All right, just a few more jeans here, guys, and then we'll jump into the shirts. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to cut it into two parts. We'll just have to see. Um, Joe's jeans again. These are men's, and they are in the Fit Brixton, size 29. So happy about those. Pretty sure they're men's. Yeah, the pockets are deep. We'll have to look them up. So grateful for this awesome haul and now we have to take a break because it's just too much. I still have a death pile and here we are buying more things. Um, so these are just our only pair of American Eagle that we bought I think but they are kind of like a black gray and this specifically the Extreme Flex. We've had these before and they sold within a couple days. Regular blue jeans and we also had the Flex 360s and they also sold really fast. I'm not sure if that means that they're stretchy or what but this is a random kind of like cool color so I think we're going to do well with that. Okay, here is an extremely great pair of jeans here. They are cut from the cloth, so you can see there. They're new with tags, and they are size 24. So they're plus size, they're new with tags, and cut from the cloth. I anticipate these doing really well. So yeah, they're awesome. Oh man, I'm just like, and they do have distressing too. They're really nice. Look, let me show you. Yeah, they're really nice. Nice wash, very rich feeling. Yeah, in love with those. I know you guys are tired of me saying like in love with these or I love these, but I just, I picked these out obviously because I love them. So this is another pair of super great jeans. They are Tommy Hilfiger. Not only do they have the box logo here, they have it right here and check this out. Boom. 
and they're in great shape. These are going to sell like hotcakes. I can't wait to tell you guys when they do sell and what they sell for. I'm not sure what they're going to go for yet, but I do know that this is very desirable for our, you know, trendy early 20 somethings and beyond, I'm sure. So these were pretty neat. Oh, I did get another American Eagle. I'm a liar. Um, these are really cool. They're Disney store jeans, which, you know, Disney is like a cult favorite. They're a size 12, yes. And they have this super cool airbrushing. Check that out. So that's Tinkerbell. And then all up the sides, they have this really cool stenciling as well. So. I don't know if Disney Store still carries jeans or not. I have never seen a pair of Disney, door, Disney Store jeans. So that was a great find and Rick found those. He had a good eye on those. Here's a pair of American Eagle that I just love the wash on. They are hipster size two, which you know is not my favorite, but I just love this wash and the distressing and they're short. They're just really nice, and you can see this side has some more. I just love that light washing. It's really pretty. And then these ones here as well. These are size 12, I believe. I'll always pick up bigger American Eagle for the right price. They're size 12, and they are long, and they have that nice, beautiful wash as well. This is kind of cuffed up, but yeah, these are fantastic. I'm hoping to get some pictures done before work so fingers crossed that that happens so that is all of the jeans and now i'm going to find grab the shirts and i think we will make this one video so that's pretty exciting one second all right so i grabbed the shirt bin i already photographed these i know i needed to get the haul before this bin joins the inventory in the basement because honestly once this heavy tote goes down there it's not coming back up so I'm happy I had time to film this today. This is an awesome, awesome Disney store shirt. It's all embroidered with the whole gang there. And it is a large, and like I said, it is from the Disney store. Awesome, nice jean top. I did notice something, let me see. There was something, oh, there it is. So once we got home, so you can barely even see it in there. Hold on, let me find it. Okay, so right here, so you can barely see it on the camera. There's like a little mark, but I don't think that will deter people from how awesome this shirt is, especially with the embroider on the back. That's amazing. This is a pretty cool jacket too. It's a Columbia, it is a size small. I did take pictures of it, but I have to do my research because look at these zippers underneath the armpit i have no idea what they're for i thought maybe it's for another jacket or like you know how columbia has the the cores and the outer and all that but look it goes right through like what is that what is that if you know comment down below if you made it this far in the video and also if you made it this far in the video go ahead and put some leaf emojis Obviously, if you don't have emojis and you don't use them, just write the word leaf or leaves. Let's enjoy this fall. Here in Baltimore, we have some fall weather. So yeah, if you made it this far, put a little leaf down below. This was super cute. Again, we do try to stay away from Ann Taylor because it just hasn't done well for us. I know a lot of resellers continue to buy it and I'm like, how are they selling that? But anyway, this is a beautiful like blazer-ish jacket and it does have the little tie this will be listed very soon oh i love that and it's a size eight i almost said two size eight this is a great find here too it's a tommy bahama but it's a 3x big so xb it's almost the color of my hair <laughs> love this shirt it's a beautiful like fuchsia magenta yeah I li we listed a shirt that was in our death pile the other night. It sold overnight. It was a Tommy Bahama 2X. So I know that there's a great following for Tommy Bahama. This was another shirt we've never hauled before. It's called Sa Salt Valley Western. But it seemed to do decent. It does have the pearl snaps. It has a nice 
feel to it very fall like people love wearing this kind of stuff in the fall so we need to get that up asap this is a prana plaid shirt it's a beautiful like red orange rusty color i love it it has the little prana logo in the back so we don't find much prana but when we do i mean i don't really like to pick up their pants anymore we've had a pair of prana like khaki cargos for probably over 10 months now so i don't love to buy it but that plaid was pretty cool here was a shirt rick wanted to get it's actually a bmw motorsports puma shirt so these kind of tees people do like i do believe it's a women's because this is supposed to be a large and it's yeah it's kind of small and then it does have the bmw logo on the sleeve as well so we'll see about that i'm confident in his his sourcing skills just like mine and there are times in the stores guys that he's like brit no or i'll say rick no and if you have a gut feeling then that means you can get it so sometimes i tell him come on i have a gut feeling and he'll say okay all right so this is a double x tommy bahama and it is very nice i almost want to say it's new without tags but again it's hard to prove that unless you see unless it was your personal item and you know that you cut off the tags and now you know you never wore it so for that i do have to put pre-owned but i can tell that sucker is brand new here's the ll bean extra large it's kind of like a insulated flannel well it is so it's very nice very heavy duty it has that nice flea fleece lining and then it's blue and green love that it's very heavy it's really nice Jeez, it's warm i want one of them for me here is a under armor jacket it's just a nice little jacket that ladies would wear out running or to the gym it does have some vents on the back which is always nice when it starts to get a little warmer out or you just start like overheating while running i don't know much about that i go to the gym but i do not run this is a on the bias sweater on the bias is one of those brands i'm not sure where it's sold somebody can probably help me out with that but every time we pick it up it does go for about like 30 bucks but this is a nice heavy duty sweater and you can see with the stitching it's done very nicely it's just beautiful and then the bottom has we did some work in the shirt section especially in the men's like sweater section it was great i love this sweater i almost want to wear it once it's like a great cozy like thanksgiving sweater We'll see. You have to follow me on Instagram and see if I actually wear that. <laughs> Here's a Columbia sweatshirt. It's a pullover size large. It does have like the newer Columbia tag, which makes me happy. The coat that I showed you by Columbia, that's like an older tag in my opinion. I don't know for sure. That's just what I guess. But it's this really pretty tan color and it does have a gray collar. And it's so soft. Gosh, it's so soft. All right, we are getting to the end here, folks. This is a pretty cool one. Now, that client I just told you about that gave us all of those Lily Pulitzer, and she gives us Ralph Lauren. They're all great brands. She has given us this brand before. It's called Southern Tie, the Skipjack, Southern Tide. And before, she just gave us a polo shirt, a woman's polo shirt, and it was kind of faded, um, and it sold for, like, close to 20 bucks. So this beautiful teal sweater it's men's as well. I'm assuming it's going to go for probably maybe $30, $35. I haven't looked it up yet, so don't quote me. But I think that's a pretty decent number to say. This item is so cool. So you can see here it's cutter and buck, which we don't get too often. But check this out. Those of you that are around my age or older, you're definitely going to get this. If you're younger than 25, you're probably going to have no clue. Look at this. How cool is that? America Online AOL. So Rick is a computer nerd. He fixes computers. He owned a computer store, like repair store. So he loves anything like that. And the fact that it's kind of like old American Online, how cool is that? And it is cutter and buck. The collar does have three different colors. It's a gray, yellow, and green. 
nice fleece this is an athleta dress it's really cool it has a hood on it and like I don't know if these are half or three quarter sleeves but it's really cool and like I said it is an athleta extra small and then the bottom of the dress has like you know the multiple lengths so that was a really cool find I was so this is a lucky brand plaid and this was just the right price. They had this at $4.99. It's a pearl snap. So I always like to buy pearl snap anything really. But Lucky Brand's a bonus. It does have the little Lucky Brand thing there. So that was awesome. The last item I'm really disappointed about. For some reason, I just thought it was going to be awesome. And then when I came home and looked it up, like I'm like, oh... You know, sometimes when you do hauls, there's a couple things that stick out and you want to look up right away before you list. And this was one of them. And when I got home, I was so disappointed, guys. Like, they're selling for $30 and under, and most of them are under $20, under $15. Some are under $10. So it's actually an Oscar de la Renta, which is a designer. And it has the um, Sherpa... Sherpa lining of the collar and it's just a sweater you know I just thought it was really nice and I thought that designer name I remember from even being a child and yeah it's not worth much but it is super soft I am happy to have it but I was a little disappointed by that but that was my haul this week guys I hope you enjoyed seeing it we had so much fun buying all of this stuff and I can't wait to get it all listed. I know some people reach out to me and want to buy something. Just let me know. Comment down below or on one of my social medias. DM me on Instagram. Whatever you want to do and we'll work something out. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you will subscribe before you leave. Check out our Poshmark Closet, our eBay store, and follow the store and my personal Instagram. All of that's linked down below. We would love to have you over there. I do try to be as active as possible on the you know, the company's Instagram and just share different things that we find. Or sometimes, you know, I ask questions to the other resellers. So it's a lot of fun. I would love to have you. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.